Well, it's that time of year. Casey O'Neill and the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien. We are ready to roll. The fall season of game day is just weeks away. Yeah, where'd summer go, Casey? Just like that, gone. High school football season getting in the full swing here in a few weeks. And we know our first three football games of the season. And now that we know them, we want you to know them. So opening night, September 13th, Friday night, we will be on the campus of the Academy. Norwich Free Academy. <laughs> as they host Xavier in what has become a pretty good interstate rival. Yeah, solid game the last few years. Obviously, NFA, a large school, Xavier, you know, a lot of history there. We've seen some great games the last few years. I'm excited. I'm always excited to get back to NFA, Casey. Yeah, Coach Bakulis will have those guys ready, but we have some inside information that Xavier is ready to roll. They want to come in. They're going to be broadcasting game day live up there in Middletown and parts around Middletown, so we're excited for yeah, that. Yeah, week one, we're going to feature the big boys, especially Xavier and, and NFA. I'm pumped up. Week two, maybe not the big boys. We dropped down a little bit size-wise, but certainly a competitive game. The Waterford High School Lancers, who the sports doctor is all over this year, at the Montville High School Indians, that's a nice matchup, medium-sized teams, two teams, both of whom are thinking maybe seven win seasons. Yeah, I think Waterford's uh, looking that way, Casey. Some great skilled people coming back. A, a little bit of an easier schedule than in years past. Montville looking to get back Tanner Grove and that team to where they're used to, Montville Indian pride. I'm a, listen, that's a great, great matchup. Two evenly matched teams. So we'll be at Montville on September 20th. And then September 27th, I probably should leave now. We're heading across state to Stratford to Bunnell of Stratford, and they're going to be hosting the Falcons of Fitch High School. Is there a farther drive in the state, Groton, Connecticut, to Stratford, Connecticut? Well, we're going to make that drive, and we'll see what the Falcons can do, representing the ECC in one of those fabulous interconference rivalries that we've seen over the past few years. Where's my GPS? Stratford, Connecticut? It, it does exist, but that's another big-time game. You talk about the rivalries, the, the cross-sections, and, and the games and stuff like that. I'm excited to see what Fitch has this year. And Bunnell, a little bit of a storyline there, too, with, with that team from Stratford, isn't there? Well, the head coach is a whaler, and as we get closer to that game, <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about that. But the athletic director welcomed game day with open arms, so we're very much looking forward to going down there. So week one at NFA, week two, at Montville, week three, all the way at Stratford, the 13th, 20th, and 27th. That's how we start the season on game day. All right, Sports Doctor, as we roll into October, though, things are going to be a-changing. The season's changing. Halloween, we're going to do a little trick-or-treat mm. action, fan choice, because the games that we do in October are going to be chosen by who? Chosen by you, the fans. Who, what do you want to see? Casey, and it's not just football, it's soccer, it's volleyball, whatever you want to see, cross country, you vote, we'll be there. So starting right away, starting now, go to the day.com game day slash game day and start nominating the games you want to see us cover in October. Keep nominating them and as we move into September, you will see we'll put it out for a vote and we'll start letting you choose where we go in the weeks during October. We will go, you will vote, and off we go into the sunset wherever you want. I'm looking forward to a little indoor volleyball, maybe. Like a little nice weather. Yeah, listen, you need that. Um, here's the thing, too. We're going to come to your school. You guys got to bring the energy. You got to bring the fans. You got to bring the students. We'll bring the work. You guys bring the energy. Yeah, we've had a lot of success yeah. challenging our students and fans to show up. You've done it in droves. So now let's really... Put it all together. You vote, you show up, we show up, and let's see if we can create some magic, whether it's on the floor or on the field. Sports Doctor, the highlight for me of last year was going to East Lime High School and NFA to the student sections in basketball and delivering the pizza. Probably <laughs> the best idea you've ever had in the entirety of your time. Thank you, Game Casey. Day. I appreciate that. It's, uh, it's a lot of support. But you've topped yourself this year, <laughs> Sports Doctor. Because the sports doctor came up with the idea for this fall, and it's simple as this. The battle The of battle the of the bands. I mean, the best high school marching band at halftime, drum corps, you know, the majorettes, you know, the trumpet section. We want to see it. We want to see the best band, the best halftime performance on the field. Casey, nothing, nothing says high school football than halftime in the, in the bands. So listen, your band, you can send us clips. We live in the modern age now, all of you. I see nothing but clips all day long, videos or everything. So whether we're at your school or not, send us a clip 
of the band. Send us the energy that the band brings, whether they're it's in the stands or on the field, because at the end of the season, we're bringing pizza to the school that rocks out the most and has the best band. Will it be your school, whether we're there? So week one, NFA. Week two, Mottville. Waterford. And hey, Waterford, you yeah. guys travel. But wherever we go, Fitch, if we're not even at your school, send us the clips. This year, this fall, it's a battle of the bands. Yeah, bass drum, snare drum, little cymbals. Let's do it. Let's rock this show this year. I'm excited. We, you know, listen, you know I'm a big music fan. I mean, I love a guitar player, and I love a front man. You know Hootie and the Blowfish aren't going to be playing. <laughs> yeah, but. that's right. But I'm telling you right now, this, this is exciting for me because I, I, I love music, and I want to see these kids get some credit they deserve. Battle of the bands. Bring it. And if you send the clips that we think you're going to send and you bring the energy that you brought during the basketball season, well, we're going to put together a special musical panel of local musicians, and we're going to see the professionals judge just how good those bands are. You know, once again, the pizzas, he's buying, I'm flying.